Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'll be talking about the button feature on MIT App Inventor. So to get the button onto our screen, we can go onto the left hand side of the screen here under user interface and just drag the button in. You'll see that the default text for a button just says text for button 1. If we want to change this, we can go into the right hand side of the screen under properties, scroll down where it says text, and type in what we want our new text to say. Additionally, we can make some other aesthetic changes, such as changing the font size, we can change it up or down, making the font bold, making it italic, changing the background color, and we can change the height and the width of the button here. So perhaps we want to make it 25% of the screen for the height and fill parent for the width, which just makes, makes it the full width of the screen. But if we want to change the actual functionality of the button, we can go into Blocks, and when we click here on Button 1, we'll see the choices that we have. So the most simple function of the button is when the button is clicked, when a user clicks on the button, and now we want the app to do something. Additionally, we have these other choices. Got Focus is when the user scrolls over the button, so now the button has the ability to be clicked. Working with that one is the lost focus feature. So that's when the user had been hovering over the button but now has moved away and now we want the app to do something. We also have the long click option which is when the user holds the button down and we have the touch down and the touch up. So the touch down is when someone clicks the button, it's when they press down, touch up is when the thumb comes off the button. We also have the aesthetic choices that we had in the designer section. So here now we have the option to again change the background color, maybe change the font, maybe we want to disable the button altogether. So we could set the button enabled to be false, which means the button is not able to be pressed anymore. Maybe we want to make the button disappear, so we can set the button visible to false, and this makes the button disappear from the screen altogether. So I encourage you to play around with the features of the button. There are lots of options here. The best way to learn is by trying it yourself, but leave any questions you may have in the comments. Thank you.